If Adam's 13, for any reason, for the genetic defect or for the acquired disease, like autoimmune disease, doesn't work, that means the cleavage that we were talking is not happening and this ultra-large von Willebrand factor is remaining in the circulation, attaching to the platelet, and the binding of this uh, sticky molecule, huge molecule, to the platelet is creating the clots, small clots in the microcirculation, in the microvessels. And these microvessels getting closed and following to that depends on where is the location of this closed vessel creating different type of signs and symptoms. We have the laboratory kind of uh, signs and we have the symptoms. What is happening? As I told you, the platelets are getting low and the patients uh, are uh, becoming anemic. So the low platelet numbers are starting to produce the symptoms of the bleeding, mucosal type of bleeding. The first symptom is to have the petechia, the, the, the small red spot on your body and nose bleeding, hematuria. And the patients, these patients are starting to feel very uh, tired and uh, like sometimes are very close to flu syndrome and um, they have abdominal pain. Then later on, if the diagnosis is not uh, made, things are getting more complicated because these uh, micro uh, clots could uh, close the vessels of the brain and they start to have a serious neurological symptom. And this could start from, you know, uh, for example, the problem of vision, the problem of talking, the problem of moving their hand, their legs and up to really some of the psychological type of symptoms that the change of the personality up to uh, entering to coma and up to some of the very important type of manifestation, right, like a cardiac arrest, because also the vessel of the heart could be involved in that. You could have the liver failure, you could have a kidney failure, depends of which vessel are involved.